Welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been forever since I filmed a video. Usually you guys know I batch film and then edit throughout the week. It just works out with my schedule. Anyway, I just have had such a long weekend. Usually me and Rail chill out on the weekend, try to take it easy. But if you guys don't keep up with me on Instagram, my dad is in town visiting and we also had plans to go to a concert this weekend. Plus we've just had a very busy work week. The other thing, if you don't follow me on Instagram or you're a new follower to my channel, you probably don't know this, but me and my husband do work together and we work for a small business and we just launched a new website. So he's been stressed and I've been kind of switching roles, which, you know, it's, it's a lot. So I've just been feeling really, really kind of tired and exhausted and trying to power through everything just to get things done. And yeah, it's just been a lot. And then I had my period, oh my gosh. And so I always get like a massive headache like the week of my period or like while I'm going through it. So this morning I woke up and I just felt groggy. I felt like I hadn't gotten enough sleep. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to film this video today because I don't want to put it off to try and film during the week because you never know how my work schedule is or what we end up doing and then I won't have a free night to film and I wanted to do a little bit of an elaborate look today because this video is a collab with a bunch of youtubers this is so exciting because this is the first time I've done a collab like this I don't know if it's like what do you call this like a mass collab I don't know I think there's about six youtubers in this group I'm pretty sure it's like six or seven maybe eight I don't know but Kara from Mascara Cakes approached me and she said her and Emily Hanhan had this idea to do a cake face collab and I remember talking to Emily when the Glam Light cake palette came out because we were both kind of interested in it but we also were like ah they could have done like I think I was looking for a less like rainbow palette I was hoping for more like rosy and pinks and I don't know I was just I don't know I was expecting like strawberry shortcake dreams you know and Emily like told me she had this really cool idea she's like I wish they had done smaller palettes inspired by different cakes so she was like red velvet and you know all these cool ideas and I was like yeah that would be really cool so anyway Kara DM me about this collab and so I think they probably came up with this inspired by that but basically the goal is everyone in the group got a name drawn for somebody else in the group and we had to send somebody a cake so I chose a cake for Mia from Mia's Virtual Vanity I will link all the ladies in this collab down in my description box and in a pinned comment so you guys can go check them out. I don't think I've collabed with a majority of the people. I have collabed with Kara in the past as well as Emily, but there's a bunch of new creators that you guys might not know um, that I haven't talked about on my channel before. So definitely, definitely check out the other ladies as well. So I sent Mia a cake. I love Mia. She is so sassy and sarcastic. So if you haven't checked out her channel yet, you need to do that as well. And then and my cake was sent to be my Kara, which is amazing. And she sent me this picture. So I will throw up a picture of the cake right here. And this was supposed to be my inspiration. And I just immediately thought of the Mercury Retrograde palette from Huda Beauty. So of course, if you, I'll throw up the picture of the cake again. And like this matte blue shade, I just knew I had to use it. And I just feel like, this cake embodies this palette and so you guys will see how I created this look today. I also threw in some Urban Decay glitter in This Is Midnight Cowboy because I wanted to do like a cut crease. Holy shit, I don't think I've ever done a cut crease on my channel so that was a big deal. And yeah, I just had a lot of fun putting this look together. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clip of me putting this look together. I wanna let you guys know this is gonna be a voiceover. I did try to do this a little bit different. Usually I talk when I'm doing my makeup and honestly, like I feel good right now, now that my makeup's done, but I just wanted to focus on the makeup. And so I thought it would be fun to do a voiceover and kind of do things a little bit differently. So if you guys are curious to see how I created this look, just keep watching. 
Okay guys, so when Kara sent me the cake that she wanted me to be inspired by, the first palette I thought of was the Mercury Retrograde palette by Huda Beauty. So I grabbed it, grabbed a fluffy blending brush from the brand Morphe, and I went in with the shade Libra. I applied that very messily into my crease, and then I used the shade Hot Mess to deepen up the outer corner. And then I felt like the purple was really creeping up to my brow, so I used the shade Momentum on the brow bone just to highlight my brow bone. Next, this is where things get a little bit more complicated for me. So I'm just using a flat brush and I am trying to do a cut crease here. I haven't really done a cut crease before or I, if I have it hasn't been very good so I'm trying really hard here not to go too crazy and I'm using the P. Louise eye base in the shade 0 I believe and carving out my lid so I can put down the next shade so next I'm using the shade haze and I just took a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm stamping that shade onto my lid. The shade was totally exactly what I pictured when I saw the picture of this cake and it worked really well packed on to the P. Louise base and the pigmentation is great and I had no fallout so I was very very happy with my choice to use this particular shade. So next to mimic the beautiful gold shimmer running through the cake, I decided to add the Urban Decay Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy to my crease just to add a little extra pop. I really, really like how that turned out with the final look. Okay guys, so yep, this is how it all turned out. I had so much fun putting this look together. It's very different for me. You guys know I always complain about pastel shades, so I did use the P. Louise base in the shade White, I believe. Is this, this is Rumor 01. I usually use a skin tone shade. This is Rumor 05, but I did buy the white base because I've been dying to play with more pastels and so I'm excited because this worked really well for me. Uh, is this, you know, if you zoomed in on this eye look, is this the best cut crease you're ever going to see on YouTube? Absolutely not. But I feel like the reason you guys come to my channel is because I do make up like a regular person. And this was a really fun thing for me to do is to just do something a little different for me and try some new things, which I don't do very often. And that's definitely one of my goals for 2020. So anyway, guys, I don't want to babble on but I hope you guys enjoyed this look let me know your feedback down in the comments like I said please go check out all the other channels that were part of this collaboration thank you so much to Kara and Emily for including me in this collab like I said I've never done anything like this before so it was really really cool to be included I feel very very special so I hope you guys have a great weekend thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video soon bye guys